Are you ready to see if you can tell someone's emotions simply by looking at a flat, two-dimensional black and white photo of someone's eyes? In 1997, Simon Baron Cohen, yes, he is the cousin to Sasha Baron Cohen, developed what is called the eyes test. It consisted of 36 sets of eyes, all displaying a specific type of emotion. Simply put, theory of mind is our ability to put ourselves in another person's shoes and understand their emotions without them actually telling us. This was originally used to test the empathizing abilities of people with autism and Asperger's syndrome. Are you ready to take a few of these yourself and see if you can figure them out? Don't forget to let me know how you did in the comments below. Is this man terrified, upset, arrogant, or annoyed? Upset is the correct answer. Is this woman joking, flustered, desired, or convinced? She is showing desire. Is this gentleman joking, insisting, amused, or relaxed? The correct answer is insisting. Is this gentleman irritated, sarcastic, worried, or friendly? The correct answer is worried. Is this woman aghast, fantasizing, impatient, or alarmed? The correct answer is fantasizing. Now, it's important to know that there were a few problems with this test as well. Now, people were not timed, and they were also given a thesaurus or a dictionary to look up words that they didn't know, because some of them are a little hard. They're complex. There also seemed to be more female faces than there are male faces, and the males tended to display emotions that were, like, grumpy or annoying, while the women displayed pleasant and fantasizing emotions. And one thing that you should really know about this is that IQ had nothing to do with this. And the reason we know is because there was one test group, those with autism, and then there were three comparison groups. One of those groups was matched pair, and we matched it for IQ. Basically means the mean IQ of the autistic group was 115, and therefore we had a group of regular normal adults that also had an IQ of 115. See, we have these four groups here. That's the number of people in each group. And you'll notice this top group right here. This was the autistic group, and their mean I score was a 21.9 while average people scored a little bit higher. This bottom score was the IQ comparison group of 30.9, and there is a significant difference between that top group. So this basically rules out that IQ has anything to do with theory of mind. Now, if you want to take it a little further, we did find a negative correlation in this study, and we compared it to AQ scores, which is an autistic quotient. And a negative correlation simply means that two variables have opposite trending data. While one is trending up, the other could be trending down. And it's always consistent. So we can see this autistic group at the top and we have uh, normal people down below. This autism quotient score of 34 is high compared to these lower scores. So as these scores increase as we go down, these scores decrease as we go down. Let me know if you need more content related to Baron Cohen's study.